Welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh, and I'm moving forward in the timeline uh, with Deanna to the uh, super competition. This is from the, the first one that she competed in when she was 14. Um, and this is, uh, the title is, This is a Man's, 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 Man's World. Um, and I believe it's the version by Etta James, because there's a version by James Brown, but I believe the one that she's singing is is going to be the one by by Etta James. I couldn't find any information about that when I looked at the the YouTube uh, link, the information about you know uh, the actual performance. It didn't say really there that I could find. Um, but I'm going to read the lyrics for that, and hopefully that's the one that she sings. I would think it would be. So the lyrics are. Hopefully you all can see that. This is a man's world. This is a man's world, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. You see You see man made the cars to take us over the road. Man made the trains to carry the heavy load. Man makes the electric lights to take us out of the dark. Man made the boat for the water like Noah made the ark. This is a man's a man's world. But it wouldn't be nothing without a woman, a woman or a girl. Now listen. Man thinks about little bitty baby girls and baby boys. Man makes them happy, cause man he makes them toys. And after man has made everything, everything, everything he can, you know that man makes money to buy from other man. But this is a man, a man's world. But it wouldn't be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. I'm going to skip forward here a little bit. It says, uh, I said, I said he's lost, lost in the world of a man. Oh, yeah. And he's lost, lost in bitterness. This is a man. This is a man's world. Oh, yeah. This is a man's world. And it goes on and does the chorus again. And then it, it ends with the with the chorus. This is, this is, this is a man, a man's world. So let's move into the, the video. I'm excited to, to see Deanna uh, in the super competition. Uh, ho hopefully those of you that are, are watching this have watched my earlier reactions. Uh, I reacted to her when she was 13 singing uh, uh, Jodel Time. And then uh, also Oh Darlin when she was 10. Um, and also Rishenka, I believe, when she's 15. And I think that's from the second uh, super competition, actually. Um, so uh, there are others that I'm, that I'm prepping for to react to. I won't make it as long this time between reactions, I promise. Um, but I'm looking at some of the others from this particular competition. But if you have any suggestions or recommendations from this competition that are your favorites, those are the ones if you could please let me know in the comments, I would appreciate it. And for those new to the channel, uh, if you like what you see here and you like my content, if you could please subscribe and click on the notification so you can be notified of any new reactions coming, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So it is the right version, thank goodness. Um, wow, that's quite an entrance. 
I'm always impressed by her because she just owns it on the stage. This is an interesting choice with like the outfit and everything else that she chose here for this performance. I think she's making a statement here, which is great. It's awesome. Uh, she's going to bring it. I have a feeling. Let me back up here. I missed some of their comments. I, I have been trying to read the the subtitles for you guys, the English subtitles, so that they get translated with uh, with my subtitles. So it looks like I missed some here. This isn't bad. I'm not sure if that's from one of the judges or wh where that came from, but. Igor. Yeah, it's good to see him again. The what she's doing right there, if you're not familiar with like how the voice works, that's that's pretty hard. What she just did there, where she's kind of going, you know, down, you know, up and down between her, her register there. That's not easy to do. But yeah, her her timbre is very unique. She has a very distinct voice. I kind of, I always forget that about her, but it's, it's very unique. Let me go back here. Sorry, I paused it in the bad spot here. That was cool. She is showing some stuff, man. She's bringing it. She's got like this growl to her tone in this particular song. You can tell she's really trying to, you know, bring something powerful to the performance. And she's doing a lot, a lot of runs and really bringing it. So hopefully these judges We'll turn around here. That's an interesting expression I paused on there for Igor. Okay. The other thing I'm noticing here is her English is is improved uh, quite a bit. I mean, not that it was bad in Oh Darling, but she's come a long way in whatever those four years. So it, she sounds really good as far as the English. Uh, I don't know what's up with these other judges. This is a different format they have here too. So like with the voice, they actually turn the seats turn around when they hit the button and then, or when they choose the singer with this one, they're watching them the whole time and then they can hit the buzzer to select them. So it's more kind of, I guess, like X factor maybe. Yeah. 
Wow, they waited to the last minute. You could hear kind of the resonance come through there in those final notes of the song. Um, yeah, she she brought it. She definitely she's. I love her story too. I mean, I think that was her adoptive mother there in the glasses. You guys can kind of correct me if I'm wrong, but. I love to see this kind of a story, you know, where the adoptive mother comes in and and um, takes her in and, and pulls her away from the world that she dealt with when she was, you know, a young girl and gives her a better life. That's that's awesome. But yeah, she she definitely has worked hard from an early age, it sounds like. And She's gained a lot of confidence over the years. And this was kind of one of her breakout moments from what I understand. This first competition, this first super competition was her time to kind of step up and say, hey, this is me. I've worked hard. I have these talents. You know, give me a chance. And, you know, bravo to her. Uh, I don't know if this was the first performance. Maybe you guys can weigh in on that of this competition but she definitely brought it and I, th I think her song selection was good too I think overall um, having watched a lot of these shows over the years I think I mentioned that in a previous reaction American Idol and America's Got Talent X Factor all these different shows a lot of times you'll hear Simon say this and I totally agree with him but song selection is huge right um, you have to choose the right song for the right moment and for your voice and for the judges too, right? To, to impress the judges. Uh, so I think she chose a good song for this and she brought it some of those runs she did there where she was doing a descending run. Those are really cool. And she was adding that gravel in there too to kind of give it that charge, that energy. So that was a good performance. Like I said, she's come a long way from Yodel Time and and uh, Oh Darlin and Mayvoy was the other one that I reacted to um, when she was when she was 13. So I'm excited to continue on her journey and to kind of you know get to her recent stuff. Uh, but yeah, I want to follow everything chronologically and to watch her grow and and really blossom, right? I mean that's that's kind of what I'm what I'm doing with a lot of these artists. I'm kind of watching them bloom and really blossom and turn into something special, right? And that's that's what I love to do is is watch that process. So thank you all for your patience with me on this journey. And if you haven't already, if you could please Click on subscribe, click on the notifications, and thank you very much. Take care.